We are in New Mexico, heading back to camp. Uh, it's Friday, season opens tomorrow, Saturday. Looking for, uh, looking for an elk with a muzzle loader. I'm the only tag holder. Uh, my twin brother Evan came down to help us and then my dad Ken is here with us as well. So all of our first times to New Mexico, first time hunting with a muzzle loader. Scouted for a couple days, saw some nice bulls. Um, not really sure what tomorrow's gonna bring for weather and other hunters and all that, but uh, looking forward to it. Hey guys. I grew up hunting with my family. That's always how it's been. My brother Evan has really been the person that I've hunted with the entire time. He's my twin brother. We're always on the same page. We always have the same goals. And so um, it's kind of like a built-in hunting partner, built-in best friend at the same time. Yeah. Evan's moose from last year. Yeah. Took only 27 days of hunting to find him. How long did it take us to get up into that canyon this evening, Dad? 45 minutes? Where we saw the bull? Yeah, just when we... It was 55 minutes when we saw the bull. It was a really quick season. It was only five days long. We had never been there before, never hunted that kind of country. All right, well, I've got my alarm set for five. We felt like the clock was ticking. Five days is not, not a lot of time to figure out an area and, and try and get one on the ground. Okay. Don't spill that powder out there. First couple days there before the season started, in terms of scouting, that was the most elk any of us had ever seen. We knew that there was, we were in the right area, and we had to figure out places that we could create opportunity. My dad's really the one that got us into hunting, me and my two brothers, and so we would always go to the family spot. It was a place that we would always hunt mountain mule deer and that's just how we grew up is in the mountains trying to get it done in steep steep country usually bad weather um, so he he really taught us a lot through that and as we've matured and as we've started hunting off on our own he's really just started to come along for the enjoyment spot our first two bulls of the day Kind of reminds me of Evan and I, these two smaller ones over there fighting. I'm not sure what they're fighting about, but if they're like us, it's not that important anyway. The, the bigger one's winning. I think that one's me. It's those two from down here. It's that first night that we kept jumping. Oh, those two little ones, like a two by two. <laughs> He's got like a front and then like a snapped off main thing or something. So we'll see what happens. It's really tall. They're in some really tall brush over there. So 
it wouldn't be easy to hike, hike in there and, and get on them. So we'll have to see what happens here. We're not going to rush it. Just going to try and be patient and see what they do. I think it, it's going to be tough if he come, comes straight towards us because it's so thick down there. Do you see him there? I know, I know where he last was, but I don't see him. You can see him now. I think we can get down there and get on him. Honestly, I do. We've got to be really careful getting off here because it's steep and I think it could be kind of loud. But we just need to like bend in here a little bit. Clearing that. And as long as there's, as long as it's kind of open underneath, we can probably get in a spot. I think we can get in a spot where we could probably shoot him. I never saw that nice one down there. Did you see those two red ones? Yeah, we bumped them like, like probably 75 yards. So I saw the first one come out. And one of those little ones jumped out. So I took my pack off and got down. And the other little one was behind him. And we never saw the bigger one. The big one came over first. And he was in front. Dad and I saw him going up this cut. And the little one's kind of hung back. Oh, see, we walked all the way up to like here, probably. Yeah, I heard, a, I heard a crack up here. I'm regretting not throwing my rain pants in my pack because I didn't want to carry them around. Now it seems like that would have been the right decision. <laughs> We just saw one little bull over here tonight that's not something we want to go after on the first day. So we're going to go back up on the other side to start working our way back. And we, these two saw some elk on the other side last night, so we're going to see what we see. And if not, we'll just make our way back to camp.
having any trouble finding them and we were not having any trouble getting close to them we couldn't really seem to find that middle ground 100 to 200 yards away so you're not right on top of them from camp this morning since we were over in a big basin yesterday we're gonna give that a little time but we also don't want to be too far from camp because it's we're expecting a ton of rain and lightning tonight uh, today we had a ton last night it was like non-stop lightning and thunder and like someone left the light switch on it was just illuminating our entire tent for quite a while it was pretty intense there's camp He's taking what he called a dad day this morning. <laughs> we wore him out yesterday, so he's sleeping in. I think he's gonna sleep in, tidy up camp. It's a slow morning though. It's a little different spot that we're trying to figure out from where we were yesterday, so it's not as open. It's not as good of glassing, but it's a little easier to get into, so. I haven't even seen a cow. We take a cow at this point. Just get our spirits back up. Might might go see my cot in my sleeping bag here pretty soon. We'll see. Eighty-five percent chance at five p.m. It's four now. 7 p.m. is 45% chance, 9 p.m. is 34, and then it goes to zero. So I'll make it to nine. Yeah. Five more hours. Five more hours. <laughs> it's nothing at this point. <laughs> Given the fact that it was a five-day hunt, there's so much anticipation going into what each day has to be. The fact that we were waiting out a rainstorm rather than being out in the field maximizing the time we had, we feel like we lost some momentum and coming out of that day, um, the clock was definitely ticking. Just be careful. 
Yeah, the nugget was a nice one, and then like a five point or something, like a kind of a smaller one. And they just, they stopped right here. And I, I tried to come around here to see if I could get a shot. They were in this little clearing. But by the time I got here, they were kind of starting to move down the ridge and out. Man. But that was tough. They were tucked so tight, like in this little creek bottom right here. We got close. We got really, we got like too close. Probably like 80 yards away. It was really flat, and I'm pretty sure the cut that they were in was like 10 yards wide. Yeah, we would have had to walk like right up on them. So we just, we were just creeping through there. I, I don't know. They didn't see us. I don't know if they heard us or winded us. But <laughs> we got in there. We should have just waited. We should have just stopped for a minute and seen if they moved. They, yeah. Our wind was a little swirly, but generally it was like pretty consistent the whole time coming in our faces. I thought that was lucky. Had an unsuccessful stock, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop up over the other side here. There's another big basin in there where we've seen a bull twice, or three times actually. So we're gonna go up over there, and then uh, if we don't see anything, we're just gonna slowly hunt our way back to camp and then go try a different area tonight. This area feels like it's getting a little bit of pressure, so we're gonna get out of here and try something new. 1734. We needed to do something different. Went to a different area that we thought looked really good, and when we got in there, it ended up being, we kind of struck out. And there was a lot of signs of livestock in the area. Um, the grass was really chewed down and all that. So as soon as we got in there, um, we wanted to hunt it out through the night, but we wouldn't want to go back and spend more time in there. Elk rocks. Pretty good size herd of them. Why is it raining? It's day four of five. Definitely feeling the clock ticking today. We're gonna go one more. We're gonna go back to where we've been seeing a bunch of elk, but if we don't have any luck there, we're gonna go one more basin over, and we think that one's getting a lot less pressure than where we're at. My dad's taking another dad day. He was pretty whooped after yesterday, so going, going deep, seeing if we can make something happen. We started off by going down the wrong ridge. <laughs> so we backtracked to Dad. Got up in here and we have not seen an elk yet this morning. But we're at our favorite spot where we've been seeing a lot and they, they actually started moving pretty late yesterday. So we're kind of down but not out here. And at some point, probably gonna cross over and go up this other ridge and see what's going on back there. We've been looking at it for a couple days now and looks really good. We've seen a lot of elk come out of there, so we think it's worth a try to, to go down there and look on the other side. I'm not feeling particularly enchanted at the moment. You might want to get a better look at that triple decker. It's a double decker, double decker. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it honestly sucks. It's way too dry. I like certain things about it and I don't like other things about it. What I really like about it is that it's back where there's there hasn't been anyone hunting here. So 
there's been constant pressure from the backside from us and a couple other people and so we figure that that's got to be kind of pushing everything this way it's fairly open but it's not a huge spot so it's like a little just a little pocket we're not really sure how much how many eggs we should put into this basket because it's if they're here they're here and if they're not they're not Mom sent us a box and duct taped it shut and said, don't open this until you're done. And then we said, done as in heading home or done when we have an elk? Even if we don't get any. Yeah, even if we don't get one. And she said, whenever you're heading home, open this box. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's more chocolate chip cookies. So we're going to open it tomorrow. I bet it's something handmade. Yeah, I bet it is. Cards or knickknacks or something like that. Something that's fairly corny. We got some elk chili that Evan made before we came and just froze. So we took that out. <clears throat> it's a little thick, so we're going to kind of reduce it, simmer it down. Got four brats left, and we got this garlic bread. We're going to crispen that in the pan, put the brats on it, throw some chili on it, cheese, sour cream. You never know what else we're going to throw in there. Maybe an Oreo. I don't know. We got a bunch of stuff we got to get rid of, so <laughs> we're heaping it all in tonight. Chili on top, cheese, maybe some sour cream. <laughs> we earned this today, by the way. We hiked forever, so <laughs> I don't feel bad eating all this. Good reduction. Thank you. and we're gonna send one. We're just about back to the truck, so we're gonna send one out here. You load it through the barrel, there's the muzzle, it's the muzzle loader. And uh, there's no way of getting any, getting all the stuff out, so we don't wanna take it home loaded, so basically see how, see how good of a shot I am and then we're gonna make our way back down to camp. on the way out of here. I like it. Heart joke. Yeah. Yeah. The hunt concluded <laughs> definitely with 
with mixed emotions. I mean, it was just so special to be in a new, a really great elk hunting area. It was new to all of us, totally different style of hunting than we're, than we're used to. So from that perspective, we're very lucky and fortunate with this type of tag and with this type of adventure, it always comes with really high expectations. And so we had to look at the good and the bad of this. And when we decided to pack up the truck and head home, we have nothing but fond memories and, and a lot a lot of elk encounters. And, and most importantly, a lot of good time spent together as a family.